All right, everyone, it's time for the moment many of you have been waiting for. It's time to say hello to our new little friend. Yes, indeed. AR-15 from Pathfinder Defense. Doesn't that look cool? Also got a sack glove on. You can use that with a sack glove if you want to. About the only disadvantage is here in the state of Vermont, you can only have 10 round magazines. I, I, I don't know how that's held up in court, but it's all good. I'm going to be doing some modifications for it. And, uh... Uh, just a few things. Like a lot of people say, well, the standard triggers on the AR uh, are a little bit uh, gawky. I don't really care about that. And it's got uh, all the. I love the Goroboros on there, by the way. You can get these custom engraved. Link in the description PathfinderDefenseLLC.com. By the way, I'll pin it at the top on YouTube as well. Number one with the flash suppressor. I'm going to swap that out for a noise suppressor. And the reason why is twofold. <laughs> Number one, I don't really want to go deaf. And number two, uh, I don't really want to piss off the neighbors and end up with a noise complaint. They come over to complain or something because it's going to make more noise than like a 22. With a proper suppressor, it won't, and therefore it'll be a lot quieter. Obviously, I need to get sights on it. Um, I mean, you can use it like this if you want to, but I kind of want to have like the, uh, the carrying handle with the front optics, something like that. Make it look a little bit more like an M16, actually. And uh, also... I noticed that this back, uh, this particular stock, feels like, I don't know if it's because of my body shape or whatever, it feels like it's very slightly too long. So I'm thinking, and, and by the way, uh, DM me on Twitter if you want to, and uh, if you can recommend like a stock replacement that's shorter than this kind, if you've got an AR, you probably recognize it. This is, I think, pretty standard for an AR. I think that's how I'll trick it out. Everything else about the gun, I'm probably going to keep the same. I did joke about getting a grenade launcher attachment, but, I mean, while they're legal, with a tax stamp, of course, uh, if you look at the price of actually getting one and then actually getting something to put in the grenade launcher, while I would love to make a Sticks, Hex, and Hammer blows up tree stumps video, I, I think the neighbors might look askance to that, too. So maybe in the future, when I have more money and my own property, maybe that'll be a thing. Now you can get a million attachments for an AR-15, by the way. It's the most modular rifle that you can possibly get. You, you can convert this in 20,000 different ways. Let me put it over here. Very careful with my new friend. Very careful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Thank you very much to Pathfinder Defense for that, by the way. I mean, uh, for years I was like, uh, I know, I know, I need to get a rifle. People are like, Sticks, you know, I post a picture of the Glock or something. Well, Sticks handguns are great, but you need a, you need an actual rifle. I'm like, okay, okay, you know, I'll, I'll get around to it. I'll buy one, but then I got one for free. <laughs> I thought it was great. I'm glad that I waited. Uh, so, yeah, I already bought some ammo. Uh, green tips are legal in this state. A little more expensive. 223 is everywhere, so I got some of that, too. What I'm going to do is once I get the gun set up, so customized, so suppressor, um, sights, obviously, and probably do something about the stock's length. Uh, and keep in mind, if I sound like a newbie to some of you, I've mainly used revolvers and handguns and stuff like that, so I, I'm not highly experienced with rifles, or even with shotguns, although I have used them before. Um, I want to get a gold double-barreled shotgun. One of the, you know, the, the FUD shotguns. I think that would be fun, too. Get some Dragon's Breath ammunition for that. But uh, what I think I'm going to do is, once I get it set up, then I'm going to run through like 100 rounds of the 223 and uh, just make sure there's no mechanical failures, then strip it. That's actually fairly simple with an AR-15. It's almost simpler than with a Glock handgun, actually. Uh, field strip it, clean it completely. I'll need to get a cleaning kit, of course. Oil it up. Yes, I use Ballistol. Don't worry to the several people that highly recommended that as a form of a cleaner and lubricant for rifles and, and other guns, I already have some. <laughs> There's a can in the room for a reason. Yes, I trust Ballista. I have brand loyalty. Yeah. It's uh, going to be pretty fun. Now, my hope is that I never have to deploy this outside of plinking. I, I hope I never have to shoot like a rabid dog staggering across the property or a home intruder or something like that because, you know, guns are fun and, you know, I'm a member of the militia, but I'd rather not be... Uh, militia, you know, I'd rather be peaceful and left alone. But everyone should have a rifle. If you want to get one from Pathfinder Defense, I think they've got several other builds available as well. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. 
some plinkin, but I'm not going to be able to do that until I have a suppressor again for fairly obvious reasons. Sat gloves for the win, by the way. I look like I'm training to be a Jedi or something, or, or a Sith or something like that. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm pretty happy, as you can tell. It's a great gun, and I can't wait to customize it, because I'm going to make it look even cooler than it already is. That's about all. Peace out.